Two South Carolina colleges are among more than dozen who have been cited in the report by the Freedom From Religion Foundation. The Freedom From Religion Foundation has asked the University of South Carolina to remove its football team chaplain, reports FFRF.org. The nationwide church watchdog says that Adrian Despers, who is paid by the public university, preaches creationism and uses religion to recruit new student-athletes. Head coach Steve Spurrier openly admits that he calls Despers preacher, or chaplain, because that's what he is. He preaches the word, the gospel what we all need to hear. FFRF's report also says that Darbo Sweeney, head football coach at Clemson, arranged for donors to pay $2,500 annually for a team chaplain, reports Toledo News Now. The two South Carolina colleges are among more than a dozen who are cited in the report as overstepping the boundary between church and state. Former Florida State coach Bobby Bowden and University of Cincinnati coach Tommy Tuberville are also accused by the FFRF. See President Harris Pastides, the Freedom From Religion Foundation, has asked the team to remove the position. ABC Columbia's Beth Rousseau joins us now in the newsroom with more. Beth. Ben, Alicia, Freedom From Religion Foundation reps say they receive more than 3,500 church and state complaints each year. Among those, they've noticed a trend of complaints about football chaplains at the public high school and university levels. There's no need for a preacher on a football team. A new report released by the Freedom From Religion Foundation claims football programs at USC, Clemson, and universities across the nation are using paid chaplains to religiously coerce players. Because these coaches have such a high level of control over the players, uh, it's going to be very difficult for any player to step up and challenge a chaplain without risking his education, his scholarship, his playing time, you know, maybe his future career. According to the group, paid football chaplains are unethical and illegal, saying it violates the separation of church and state and calling into question financial dealings. In South Carolina, Adrian Dupre was paid $4,500 to be a character coach to counsel players and speak to recruits, but He's actually a preacher. The foundation is now asking universities to carefully regulate chaplains in an effort to protect their players' rights. ABC Columbia has reached out to USC for comment and have not heard back, but we did speak with students on campus who say that as long as players aren't being forced to attend, they see no problem with chaplains staying on. I mean, you're not required to participate in the events if that's your beliefs, and as a player, you can decide if you want to go to those or not. They're not sitting there saying, all right, you have to come to this. So, I mean, it's not forcing it religion upon anybody. It's people's choice to play football here. So um, it should really just be their choice whether they want to listen to it or not. Now, the organization is suggesting that universities hire sports psychologists or counselors if players should need guidance. And once again, ABC Columbia has reached out to reps from USC, and we have not heard back at this time. Now, live from the newsroom, Beth Russo, ABC Columbia News. The FFRF will be providing students at these colleges with an explanation of their rights as students at secular universities. FFRF co-president Dan Barker said that these chaplaincies are a serious violation of the First Amendment's Establishment Clause and a student's rights of conscience. The FFRF has provided a model for universities and the coaching staffs to follow with regard to religious and secular activities within the team. They say that all coaches and staff must remain religiously neutral on all matters, even when providing character development. Players who desire religious instruction and care should seek the opportunities that are offered to all of the students on campus. Additionally, while teams may offer character coaches and the like, they too must remain neutral when it comes to religion.